Hi my lovies and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a foundation and this is a really highly requested foundation review video so I hope you guys like it. I hope it's everything that you expected. So let's kick off this video. I'm going to be talking about the Dermacol foundation today. There is so much hype around this product right now. I am very interested to see if it's any good. It's from a brand that originated in the Czech Republic. This brand, Dermacol, has been around for a long time but because people are now reviewing the foundation it's getting an awful lot of hype. You can buy the foundation I believe off their website. I bought mine off Amazon. First of all it has an SP of 30. There's 13 shades on the website and it is clinically tested extreme covering makeup. It was created as the first of its kind in Europe and one of the first in the world. The license for this foundation was eventually sold to Hollywood. It contains 50% pigments. Oh wow, so it's gonna be hugely pigmented, which makes it a weapon against skin imperfections. Dermacol makeup cover provides perfect coverage, even in thin layers, and the perfect corrector for dark under eyes, unpleasant spots, skin blemishes, completely covers acne, loss of pigmentation, post-surgical bruising, tattoos. It may be used in the entire face or body for color correction, darkening or lightening skin tones. To ensure ideal balance, it is widely used as a professional makeup for photo and film shoots, modeling, and for festive occasions. I don't know what to expect from this foundation because I've only watched two reviews. Okay guys I've just been talking for the last like two minutes. Forgot to press record. This is what the packaging looks like on it and I've already opened it. It had like a seal on the top and then you just press the lid in and it opened it up. This foundation contains one ounce or 30 grams. I don't know why it says grams when it's liquid. Do what I do every single time, prime one side, use a beauty blender on one side and use a brush on the other. I'm gonna take my trusty old L'Oreal Nude Magic Blur Cream. I'm going to prime this side. So I have primer on this side and the only thing I have on this side of my face is a little bit of moisturizer. I'm going to apply it to the prime side first with my beauty splunge, splunge, sponge, which is what I do every single time. I'm gonna maybe pop a little bit on the back of my hand. Okay. So I'm gonna take that amount. I don't know if you can actually see it. I have no fake tan on me today, so I hope this matches. It looks very light, even though I have no tan on. It looks extremely light. I don't know how I'm gonna apply this with a beauty blender because it's really, really thick. Like, look at that. But maybe if I just spread a little bit onto my face, maybe this will match. I don't know. May have gotten too crazy. I don't know. We're gonna blend it in and see. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh my god, this a little bit of this definitely goes a long way. Like you guys saw how much I applied on and how much it's spreading out. Okay guys, so you can see from this side to this side it has covered everything. I honestly thought that this was going to be so super thick that it was going to be hard to move on my skin and that it was going to look really cakey, but it actually looks quite nice even though it is covering like it has covered everything that's only one layer I'm not even gonna do a second layer it has covered all my freckles you can see a tiny bit of my moles popping through but it takes something serious to cover up my moles but you can see all my freckles are covered it's evened out my skin tone the color is actually not a bad match I went with 118 in the end but right now I'm liking the look of it I'm gonna go and do the brush on this side the beauty blender spread it out lovely if it blended really, really well into my skin. Oh my. <laughs> I just cannot get over how full coverage this foundation is. I don't mean to go over my lips either, but it's kind of unavoidable. I'm trying to get all the surface area around my mouth covered. Oh my jeez Louise. Personally, looking at it in the mirror, I prefer this side with the beauty blender. It just looks a little bit more natural. I mean, can you look natural with a full face of makeup? And I have complete and utter concealer lips right now, but you can't honestly look natural with a full coverage foundation, but it just looks a little bit more seamless on my skin with the beauty blender, whereas with the brush, it's just adding a bit too much product and you need less product with the brush so I'm presuming that the beauty sponge absorbs a little bit of this product. I don't know I'm kind of on the fence about it it is extremely extremely full coverage like it is 
super full coverage. I'm not noticing any difference between the prime and unprimed side at this stage. I have a feeling that this foundation may crease a lot on me because it is such a thick foundation. I don't know, I like I don't normally have creasing from any of my foundations, but definitely underneath my eye, I'm already noticing it creasing. So keep it away from your under eye area. That's the first thing I will say. It is seeping a little bit into my lines on my forehead, but looking at it in the mirror, I'm not crazy about it right now. We'll see how it goes once I put all my other products on my face. I like full coverage foundations, but this just might be a little bit too much for me. So I would use less product. I clearly went a little bit ham with the product. I wasn't sure obviously because of the first impressions. I don't know how much I should be using. So you can see the foundation on my skin. It's just looking a little bit a little bit like I'm wearing foundation. It's currently 11.12, so I'd say when this foundation was fully on my face was about 11 o'clock. I'm gonna see how all my other products sit on top of it and I will come back to you guys later. As normal, I'll do a couple of check-ins throughout the day. I am in natural lighting currently as, you know, I always am. So there's no studio lights. This is the way the foundation looks in natural lighting. I'll talk to you guys soon. So I'm just checking in now at 26 minutes past 12, so we'll say an hour and a half. And I just wanna talk about how the products went on top of my face. First of all, I had an awful issue setting this. I used my MAC Select Sheer Press Powder, and generally I never have any huge issues setting my face with that powder. It usually just sets it straight away. I just don't know why it wouldn't set. It was still kind of tacky. And then my contour kind of streaked. I don't know if you can see that there. My contour probably looks like a hot mess because it kind of grabbed onto the product as I was trying to blend it out because it wasn't properly set, even though I touched to check and it felt set, but I don't know, it just didn't work amazingly well. My cheek products went on fine after that. I used my Urban Decay Naked Concealer underneath my eye, and when I was applying it, I noticed it kind of lifted the foundation or they kind of mixed together, so, if you are using this foundation, do not bring it the whole way underneath your eye like I did, that was silly. I only brought my concealer down this far. Right at this moment, I feel like I'm a little bit caked. I feel like I have an awful lot of product on my face looking at it in the mirror. It just looks a little bit too heavy for me. It doesn't feel like my skin's not breathing, it doesn't feel really heavy on my skin, but just looking at it in real life, it does look like I am wearing a hell of a lot of product. Especially around this region here, I just feel like it's just a bit too much product on my face so that is probably an error on my behalf of how much I actually applied. Can't say right now obviously it's not my final update how I feel but right now I'm kind of meh about it. If you possibly had acne, rosacea, maybe you have problematic skin and you really wanted to cover up your skin then I would highly recommend this but I don't have a huge amount to cover up my skin. I'm not like boasting or anything but just my skin type is what it is. It is oily like I have quite quite oily skin and I do get breakouts from time to time but it's not problematic I don't have problematic skin so it's just like it's a little bit too much on my skin it is looking very nice like on camera and stuff like that but just in person it just looks like I am wearing product on my skin I'm not gonna lie guys I will talk to you in a couple more hours and we'll see where we are at then and how it's looking on my face so I'll talk to you soon I'm here for my second update and it's now four 12. I am looking at my skin in the mirror and it's a little bit shiny but nothing too major. I'm just downstairs having something to eat as well. I forgot to put my Invisalign back in. My skin is a little bit oily but nothing crazy actually. Like I don't feel like I need to blot or anything at this stage. I will say the one I'm noticing a lot that it is creasing mega underneath my eyes and I used the Naked Concealer so it's not the concealer it's just actual foundation. I brought it up way too far. Also I've noticed just a little bit on my cheeks it has kind of faded just a tiny bit and the same on this side as well it just faded a little bit it's not looking the hottest on my skin it is actually pilling a little bit just in here and just a little bit on my chin where it's kind of like bunching together and separating a little bit and the same thing is going on in between my brows I don't know if it's my oils mixing with it and they're separating I'll just zoom in so you can actually see what I am talking about is this is an attractive angle so I don't know if you can see it kind of pilling just on the sides. You see that there? And it's just looking a bit crappy around my mouth. It's sinking into my pores a lot here as well. So it's kind of like not looking the greatest on my skin. It's just looking a bit cakey. 
and in between my brows as well it's seeping into my little fine line I have here I don't know if you can see that and then you can see it creasing underneath my eyes where it's just kind of seeped into the little tiny fine lines I have underneath my eyes they're not even that bad but it's making them look really bad I don't really know if this foundation is suitable for dry or oily skin but it's just whatever is happening to it right now it's not suitable for my skin type at all I'm gonna say it right now and it's not a foundation I'm kind of keen on and I know I'm only four what am I five hours in I just feel like I'm gonna get loads of spots tomorrow I just feel like that kind of thickness on the skin thought I'd be crazy about this foundation obviously I'm gonna continue wearing it for the rest of the day to see how I get on I prefer something that doesn't look this heavy like my L'Oreal true match or L'Oreal infallible or my cover girl I'm gonna come back in a couple more hours and see what it's looking like then and I will talk to you guys very soon it's 7 13 do that now so this foundation has been on for eight hours and 15 minutes I'm gonna put it out there I don't like this foundation on me personally it's just not something that I like on my skin I feel like it is way too heavy on my skin now it's feeling kind of thick on my skin wearing rather well like I don't need to blot even at this stage um well I probably do but I'm not going to I probably won't need to blot until the end of the day so it's holding back my oils fantastically well but I just don't like the foundation the feel of it the look of it it's just too much on my skin I even asked Jimmy I was like what do you think of this foundation he's like you're wearing an awful lot of makeup today if a guy is saying that it's just not for me I don't mind having a full coverage foundation like I've already stated but this is just a bit too much I feel like it could dig my nail in and take the product off I will try it again of course of course of course because I think I over applied it I'm noticing no difference whatsoever between the way I applied it between the beauty blender and the foundation brush it looks exactly the same same as the primer it's still seeping a little bit into my pores just here and it is creasing an awful lot but I will do an up close on my final update I will see you very soon guys my last update was done at 9 58 and for whatever reason I forgot to turn my mic on but I'm just gonna do a voiceover of the final update you can see what my makeup is looking like now at this late stage in the day I'm gonna actually tell you that this is one of the worst foundations I think I've ever used on my channel it did exactly what I thought it would and it broke me out the next day I had melia on my skin and I had spots mostly around my chin area I'm gonna show you the up close of it like look how cakey and it just looks terrible on my skin it looks like I'm wearing way too much foundation it's not youthful it's making my skin look older and it's just not a foundation for me to be honest I don't know what I'm gonna do with this foundation now because there's nobody in my life that I think this would be suitable for I just didn't like the way this even looked in the video looking back on the footage it looked rubbish and I thought filming and it looked semi okay but it really really didn't if you like this foundation then I'm so delighted for you that it worked out but it is not something Thing for me I did try and use it on a different day with a with less of the product it did the same thing it's just not suitable for my skin it's not something I would recommend for anyone who has the same skin type as me I love my foundations to look youthful and fresh obviously not cakey I don't want them to look heavy this is basically all the opposites to what this foundation was it just was not for me that's kind of my final thoughts on it thank you so much for watching this video and guys I will talk to you in my next one take care bye